Class is a collection of students, and students are living beings. Similarly, army is a collection of soldiers, and soldiers are living beings too. But collective nouns are though to be a uh, the neuter gender. So, dear students, this is a main point. This is a very important point. This point says that either we know that when we talk about the collective nouns, so it can be the group of the male person or female person. means living persons despite it all the collective nouns are counted in the neuter gender suppose i say that army so army is a group of soldiers and soldiers are living beings despite it in english these collective nouns are called neuter gender right next point collective nouns are thought to be of the neuter gender this thing we have studied now let's understand formation of feminines of the nouns means how to make the nouns masculine gender to feminine gender by adding e double s to masculine so in english language many nouns are there just we have to add e double s and after that we can make it masculine to feminine gender like here here s baron baroness host hostess lion lioness priest priestess second point sometimes the spellings of the words may have to be altered slightly before adding the e double s so dear students sometimes it happens when we add e double s to make noun masculine to feminine in that case sometimes it happens we have to alter the spelling also like duke that is that is that's emperor empress god goddess hunter huntress master mistress governor governess prince princess tiger tigress waiter waitress so sometime it happens when we add e double s so slightly we have to make change in spelling come on the next page by using an entire in, entirely different words so in english language some words are there when we make those nouns masculine gender to feminine gender so we have to change the entire word right let's see some examples like bull is a masculine gender cow cock hen colt pili dog bitch Earl, Countess, Fox, Wixen, is a gender goose, gentleman, lady, horse, mare, husband, wife, king, queen, lord, lady, monk, nun, nephew, niece, ram, you, sir, madam. stag hind uncle aunt so you can see that you can notice that while making masculine to feminine complete word we have changed okay so these nouns we will have to learn come on the third point see how we form the feminine of nouns that are compound words some nouns are of the compound words means there is more than one word that is a combination of more than one word so those words are called compound words so we have to see that when we change the compound word masculine to feminine some spellings or some words we have to change let's observe these two words fisherman fisher women grandfather grandmother man servant maid servant milkman milkmaid stepfather stepmother landlord landlady peacock peahen he goat she goat stepson stepdaughter so sometime like half part we have to change so on the d part remember the masculine and feminines of forms of these nouns so these nouns we have to learn these twins bridegroom that's a masculine gender bride is feminine gender hero and heroine lad less 
mister and mistress widower widow so these are the masculine and feminine gender point number e the following nouns are of the common gender so dear, dear students these nouns are the common gender we need to understand that because they can be male or they can be female like child parent reporter companion person student cousin player teacher friend pupil tutor so these all nouns are common gender because they can be male or they can be female next point point number f the following words have gone out of use so dear students in these days and this these words we never used it we used in these words in past but in present we don't use so let's see like these words poetess we don't use poetess we don't use actress we don't use these three words out of fashion we don't use in these days in our, con our conversation or in the uh, written english too next point g point the words author poet and actor are now supposed to be of the common gender it is now common to refer to pet animals and domestic animals like dog cat cow etc as he or she so in these days if you say author and poet and actor so these are considered common gender we can't say poet is a masculine gender we need to understand that that is common gender in these days and domestic and uh, domestic animals like dog cat cow etc we use uh, for them he or she as we use he or she for masculine gender means like uh, for the um, living being means for human beings we use he and she but for dogs for cats and cows are uh, domestic animals for them also we use he or she or they also next kitty was little arushi's pet cat she slept in the same bed as arushi so you can see that we have used she word here for that for that pet so i want to make you understand dear students he and she we can use for the animals also now exercise number 1 give the feminine gender of these nouns for oral practice so dear students you have to do oral practice of these nouns you need to write the feminine genders of these nouns okay you will do this practice for just oral communication for so oral practice you will do come on the second exercise give the masculine gender of these nouns for oral practice same for oral practice you have to do here you have to write masculine gender not feminine gender means feminine genders words are written here you need to write the masculine genders of these words exercise number 3 speak out the gender of underlined nouns for oral practice this exercise is also for oral practice you just need to speak out the gender of these underlined words richard invited his friend to his new house so richard it's a male name right any boy name so that is masculine gender friend it can be male or female so that is common gender house that's no living thing so that is neuter gender so in this way you need to tell come on the exercise number 4 rewrite these sentences changing the underlined nouns to their opposite gender make other changes where necessary so you need to write the opposite gender means if gender is written means nouns are written in the masculine gender so you have to write in feminine gender if nouns are written in feminine gender and you have to write ma in masculine gender so in opposite gender you have to write which words are underlined okay so this exercise you have to do come on the exercise number 5 solve the puzzle by filling in the opposite gender of the given words some words are there you need to fill this puzzle as we have been doing that across means from left to right down from up to down right so this exercise you have to do here in your book now please come on the next chapter that is nouns and case nouns and case this chapter we are going to study
let's understand so dear students first of all let's understand what is case so case means in which case in which condition we use any noun sometimes we use noun as a subject sometimes we use noun as an object and sometimes we use uh, a noun as a possessive case right so these situation these case like are called cases of nouns a point nominative case let's understand what is nominative case when a noun is used as the subject of a verb it is said to be in the nominative case so dear students when any noun we use as a subject of any sentence in that case that noun case is nominative case for example nivya ate ice cream so nivya this is a noun that's a name and this name has been used here as as a subject so that's why we can say this nivya word is subjective case next the question is wrong so question word has been used here as a subject so that is so nominative case or subjective case also we can say it okay next nivya is subject of the verb it question is subject of the verb is the nouns nivya and questions are in the nominative case same thing we have studied in chapter 2 we have already learned how to find out the subject of a verb here is another tip to help you to find out the subject of verb put who or what before it so dear students if you want to know about subject because subjects are nouns or pronouns if any noun has been used in a in a sentence as a subject so it means that noun is in subjective case or you can say nominative case and now we have to understand how to find out a subject simple just a very simple way simply you have to put who or what before subject so before verb then what will be the answer that will be the subject like who ate ice cream nivya so nivya subject second what is wrong what we have included so question so question is subject so in this way we can find out the subject of the sentence to find out the subject of a verb put who or what before the verb the answer tells you what the subject is now b point objective and or accusative case when a noun is used as a subject of a verb it is said to be in the objective case or accusative case so dear students whenever we use any noun as a object of any verb in a sentence so that case is called objective case of that noun or we can say accusative case of that noun right see the same example nivya ate ice cream what did nivya eat so answer is ice cream so ice cream has been used here as an object of this sentence as an object of this word verb means next father praised karan for his sincerity father praised karan for his sincerity to whom did father praise so answer is karan so whenever any noun is used as an object of any verb so that is called objective case or accusative case ice cream is object of a verb ate karan is object of the verb praised the nouns ice cream and karan are in objective or accusative case no to find out the object of a verb we put what or whom after it and if we are eight word ice cream so ice cream is the object father praised whom karan super is the object same thing i have told you to find out the object of the verb put what or whom after the verb so put the uh, what or whom after the verb so you, what what will be the answer that will be the object of the sentence now let's talk about the possessive case when a noun shows possession it is said to be in a possessive case look at these sentences anu's bag is on the table the dog bit the cat's tail so dear students third type of a case is that that is called possessive case when we use any noun just for showing the possession 
in that case that noun is in possessive case now right like anu's bag so i am just telling that this bag owner is anu right anu's bag is on the table the dog bit the cat's tail means of which tail cat's tail tail of cat sentence a anu's bag the bag possessed by anu and the bag belonging to anu sentence two the cat's tail the tail belonging to cat the apostrophe used to show possession is called apostrophe so which comma we add to show the possession that comma is called apostrophe d point the possessive case can be used to convey meaning other than possession possession like also like low drama temple so dear students in this point we have to understand it is not like mandatory just for showing the possession means adhikar we use that the possessive case sometimes things belong to something for uh, showing that relation we need to use the possessive case so suppose that one example i have written like um, is there like low drama temple so low drama temple does not mean that the owner of this temple is low drama but our meaning is that the temple in which low drama is worshiped next words worth poems the poem written by words worth the dog's food the food meant for the dog not the meat of the dog we can say that this do this uh, food is for the dog so we can say dog's food how to form possessive case in the case of singular nouns we use apostrophe s yes. like the house of my uncle so we can say that my uncle's house so dear students whenever we have to make possessive case so we have to put s first of all we have to put uh, apostrophe then we have to put s and then we have to put that noun like the house of my uncle my uncle's house the palace of the king the king's palace the car of mr das mr das's car second point with singular nouns ending in s apostrophe and apostrophe s both are acceptable so dear students when our noun ends at s letter in that case you can include apostrophe just apostrophe and apostrophe s it's up to you like mr das car this is also right mr das's car this is also right eats poet poetry and eats is poetry both are right which one you want to write it's totally up to you apostrophe s is preferred if its addition does not make any word a word sound very awkward if its sound uh, is not awkward so we can use apostrophe and s this is quite preferable point number 3 with the plural nouns that end in s we add just an apostrophe after s that is we don't use apostrophe s we use only s like the hostel meant for the boys the boys hostel so like if we show the possession of something which is plural so for showing the possession of plural things if the s letter is already there then there is no need to put apostrophe after that s means after s means two s we there is no need to add just we have to add apostrophe like boys hostel b o y s apostrophe then hostel we should not write in like in this way the boys is hostel b o y s apostrophe s hostel this will be the wrong okay the uniforms of soldiers the soldiers uniforms so we just uh, have to add only apostrophe means apostrophe comma point number 4 with the plural nouns that do not end in s we use apostrophe s so dear students if nouns are in plural forms but there is no s in the end of that plural noun so in that case for showing the possession we can include apostrophe then s like the club of men men's club the books for children children's books right so in this way you can do next point number 5 we use or so we use apostrophe or apostrophe s yes, only with living beings apostrophe is usually not used with non living objects we do not say the pictures frame 
we see the frame of the picture we do not see the cars wheels we see that the wheels of the cars so dear students in this point we have to understand we know that just showing the possession we add either apostrophe or apostrophe s but when we have to show the possession of no living things then we don't add the apostrophe or apostrophe s like the frame of the picture we can't say this uh, expression in this way the picture's frame the car's wheels is wrong and we should say that the wheels of the car right now please come on the next page formation of possessives singular nouns apostrophe plus s like jones car singular nouns ending in s plus apostrophe mr das mr das's car whatever you want to write plural nouns ending in s my parents views plural nouns not ending in s we means hostel s usually not used with the no living things for means apostrophe s is not used for the no living things next point number f if we treat an object as a living being it is quite in order to use an apostrophe with it my country's progress due to score so dear students in this point we have to understand whenever we use any noun as a living being means we personify the noun in that case we can use apostrophe s like if i say country's progress so country is no living thing so progress who does the progress human beings do the progress but now i'm just personifying the country and i am saying that country's progress so that expression is right next duty is school so human being school to each and like like each and other but now we have personified so that's why that's the right expression duty is school next g point we use an apostrophe with nouns denoting time space weight when any noun denote time space or weight in that case apostrophe s you can use like a day's journey a week's stay a meter's length so day week meter these are time space or weight expressing words so in that case you can use next note the use of the uh, of apostrophe s before word so word word you can use a rupees worth of peanuts in this way also you can use or 5 rupees worth of sugar so in this way also you can use so on the behalf of this these all the understanding dear student you have to do exercise number 1 write down the possessive form of the flowing like uh, the office of the principal so some sentences are written here so you have to mention the possessive forms of these expressions same you have to do the exercise number 2 write down the possessive form of the flowing and same you have to do exercise number 3 make these ex uh, expressions plural okay so dear students now if you want to ask any question regarding today's class then please come forward and ask your doubt